the emphasis of my talk was really just to bring home how important it is to measure MRD. I do think that it should be a standard of care for our patients with ALL to measure that throughout their treatment course. Um, and the reason for that is it has, it has extreme importance in terms of helping the patient understand their prognosis and helping the physician understand their prognosis. When patients are MRD positive, even though they're in a complete remission, their chances of relapsing are very high. And that's important to know, not just to provide knowledge for our patients and for ourselves, but it can impact how we take care of patients. Um, one example is in a fit patient, considering uh, the role of an allogeneic stem cell transplant as part of their care. Um, and the other thing is that there are newer agents um, that work very differently than traditional chemotherapy. So patients who are MRD positive, that means that a subset of their disease is basically chemotherapy resistant. And we have incredible tools available to us now that work very differently from chemotherapy that can really go after this part of their disease that's not responding. Um, and one of the most important agents to think about is actually blenitumumab, which has a recent FDA approval specifically to treat uh, patients that are MRD positive.